Namaste. Good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now, I am going to give the introduction of states, state graphs and transition testing. So, in this particular uh, kind of testing, normally, the how the states are going to be tested, um, what are the various steps we need to take for uh, state uh, testing and how these state graphs can be represented, what are the various things of this now we are going to see normally whenever we are going to represent the transition from one state to another state now obviously we may go for finite state machine this finite state machine is a fundamental software engineering for boolean algebra to logic we, we use this finite state machine for all um, most of the um, things in the computer science to represent the state transition and all these things. So whenever you test these particular states, these state transition diagrams are more useful for testing from one particular state to another particular state. Okay. State testing strategies are based on the use of finite state machine models for, for software structure, software behavior or specifications of the software behavior. Means what? Whatever state testing strategies that we are going to use by using the state uh, machine models uh, for using the software uh, to test the software structures, to test how the software behaves, to test the specification of the software behavior. So, we can implement these finite state machine by using the state chart diagrams and uh, state uh, tables and state graphs. These are the powerful ways to represent these state machines in the form of state graphs. These state machines are called as state graphs and in the form of the state tables also. Okay. Next, so what is a state graph actually? What is a state actually? A state is it's actually the combination of circumstances or attributes belonging for one particular period of the time to a person or a thing or a program or whatever it is. Okay. For example, a moving car engine is running can have the following states with respect to its transmission. Okay. So, the moving car can have particular time, some states it may have. That is the reverse gear, neutral gear, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth you will say another example for example one person will be there at the time of the morning he will be there in the class at the time of lunch time the state of the person is there in the uh, canteen and at the evening he will be there in the house like that the person is static but it changes uh, what changes is state of that particular person is changing ever changing so we can say the state is not static always it's dynamic so, we can represent that particular dynamically changing states of anything. It may be person or it may be um, an attribute or it may be a person or it may be an object, whatever it is, with the help of the state graphs. Okay. What is the state graph? State graph of a program, whatever program is there. In the program also, we are having multiple states. In the input state, it is taking input. Calculation state, it is taking calculation of those input, whatever it has taken as the input. And in the output, it generates the particular output. Okay. A program that detects the character sequence, that is ZC, ZC can be in the following states. Okay. So, initially, we can represent that in the form of the state graphs. Initially, it is not there in any kind of the state, let us see. And at the initial uh, state, it is there in the Z state. And again, it is Z C. And again, it is Z C Z. And finally, it reaches to Z C Z C state like that. Okay. So, um, first one, Z C has, Z ha initially, Z has been detected. Next, ZC has been detected. Next, ZC, Z has been detected. And finally, ZC, ZC has been detected. These states are represented by nodes. And states are numbered or may identify by words, whatever else is convenient. So, these are the various kinds of the states. Okay. So, this is the example of the state graph. And the state graph description can be descript described like this. So, what are the states have been detected from this particular diagram like this. Okay. So, these are the state graphs. And now we see one other uh, thing of the state, sorry, another thing of the state graph that is inputs and transitions, transitions, finite state machines, state tables, how the state tables can be represented, good states and back states, and what are the important graphs, state bugs, number of the states, etc., etc. Okay. Okay. So next we see what are the inputs and transitions. So, whatever is being modeled is subjected to inputs. So, whenever a state has to be changes, it has to take in some input and make some transition, then the state may be changed to another state. And what are the transitions? Transitions are denoted by some set of the links to join those states. Okay. The input that causes the transition are marked as the link 
and the inputs are the link weights okay there is one outlink from every state for every input whenever a transition is making from one state to another state that is called as a link with the help of the link that is represented as the link if several inputs in a state cause a transition to the same subsequent state instead of drawing a bunch of parallel links we can abbreviate the notion by listing the several inputs as input 1 input 2 input 3 like that several inputs of a state can cause the transition to lead a subsequent state we can make those inputs as input 1 input 2 and as well as the input 3 so finite state machine so what is a finite state machine here it's an abstract device that can be represented by the state graph by having some set of the finite states and finite number of the transitions so this is the example of the finite state it is also called as a state graph okay so finite state machine so each and output can be associated by a link it is also called as a transition and outputs are denoted by the letters by follows input or output outputs are also having some link weights and inputs are denoted collection of the inputs are denoted as input 1 input 2 input 3 etc etc and big state graphs are cluttered and hard to follow and each and every state table can be represented each and every state can be represented by using the state table state table specifies the set of the inputs of the states output of the states and transitions the following conventions are also used for each and every state each row represents a state each column represent the condition and input and each box uh, that intersection of row and column specify the next state and the output like that so row row represent what a state and column represent the condition and uh, the intersection represents what it represents the next state and output let us see some example of this particular diagram how it can be represented this is the state graph how it can be represented in the form of the uh, state uh, table okay so state z c a these are the states initially it is none so next first z is detected so initially c is not detected and a is also not detected so now we started at the z so z is detected already next z c is detected and at the last state nothing is detected and z c is the starting state now so z c z is detected and next none is detected and next none is detected and next we started at z c z at next z is detected z c z c is detected and at the final state none is detected and we started at the last one that is z c z c so the last one is z c z c the resultant one is the same and the resultant one is same like that finally what we have detected that is nothing but the z c z c like that in the sequence from none to z z to z c z t to z c to z z c to z c z z c z c like that we have represented the various kinds of the states in the form of the state tables okay now we see what is time versus sequence state graphs does not represent time they represent the sequence so normally the transition may take micro seconds or some centuries it may take there is no variation okay so the program behavior and corresponding beha behavior of the process can be described in the state graph that is the example of the state graph the state graph represents the total behavior of the software executive status burns interrupts etc whatever are there in that particular process or in the particular program that can be represented by the state graph so um, whatever uh, there is no simple correspondence between lines and code of the states the state table forms the basis so whatever code is there that is irrelevant it the state graph only showing what input output and the set of the transitions and the set of the links like that so time versus sequence we can represent the output sequences etc etc but we need not represent the time in the state machine we cannot represent the time in the state machine that is the thing we have to note in the coming video i describe what are the good states graphs and bad state graphs and what are important graphs state bugs equivalent states merge of equivalent state recognizing equivalent state transition bugs unreachable dead states etc etc all these things we see in my coming video so if at all my request is if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials for all the stm um, material for all the stm videos thank you thank you one and all